Hi everyone, it's Sangeun. I hope that you are having a lovely March. It sounds very cliche, but I have already started to feel that spring is here. <laughs> so today, I want to talk about how to refresh your home with a spring atmosphere. I love to refresh my home seasonally, but this time my approach is going to be a little bit different. More slow and sustainable living focused. So let's get started. I suggest that you make a mood board where you collect all the images that inspire you. Pinterest is a great tool. You can create a board, aka life mood board, spring 2019. Once you pin the images, you can find a theme that defines how you want to live and how you want your life to look like. If you want to see them more visibly, you can print out the images and make a physical board or you can make a one-page mood board using Canva. You can select the most inspiring images, curate them in one board, save it and look at it when you want a reminder. I save it as a wallpaper on my phone so that I can get inspired as much as possible. Whenever I design a space, I consider the color scheme as important as the concept. You will see some repeated colors throughout the mood board. You can pick around 5 colors and include them in your design. My current favorite color scheme is neutral, earthy, and bright. So I want to bring more white and beige into my life and lush green to my space this spring. If you catch some eyesores caused by mismatched colors, try to store them away or substitute them for something within your color scheme. During the weekend, quickly make your space fresh by cleaning, dusting surfaces, corners, and objects, vacuuming and mopping the floor, and opening all the windows. I'm not going to say that you should deep clean your whole place. If you have time, it would be great. However, it will take quite a lot of time, so choose a few places where you have procrastinated to clean for a long time. For me, I will deep clean my wardrobe and fridge. You have probably been making a wish list already. Yes, it's time to write down what you are going to buy and DIY to update your place. Don't shop before you figure out what exactly you need to buy. Check your mood board again, look around your place and make sure everything is in your wish list. Everybody will have different wish lists. However, I suggest you start considering home decoration with a long-term vision and sustainable approach with your style rather than just following trends and purchasing bits and pieces. I also recommend to check second-hand shops. Sometimes you will find real treasure there with more affordable prices. One of the good ways to change a room instantly is changing the soft furnishing such as straw pillows, blankets, and duvets. Think about your color scheme again and play with combinations. I don't change pillows and blankets every season. I rather keep my color scheme and just introduce a few new pieces or change the textures. For example, neat and fur in winter and cotton and linen in summer. However, you can have the same pillows all year round 
We don't need to buy yellow cushions just because it's spring or Easter. Personally, I love to show cushions and linen items from Etsy. They are unique, beautiful, and mostly handmade by artists. If you want to simulate the final look before purchasing, you can use Photoshop or print out pictures and try to configure and find the best combination. I always tend to have at least one flower or plant in every room. As much as I love dried flowers, I love to buy fresh flowers, especially this time of year. The good thing about buying flowers is that you can explore different styles every week or every two weeks. There is much less requirement to keep it for a long time especially when you feel that it doesn't suit your place. Personally, I love to buy white flowers, but I sometimes buy pink, yellow, and some vibrant colors to change the mood. In the kitchen, I love to have tall branches because it will give dimension and freshness. Also, you can grow some herbs that will double as good decorations and ingredients for healthy meals. Plants will stay with you longer. They are always good for decoration and also good for the indoor air quality. Monstera rubber plant, feed leaf fig, and palm trees are my favorite indoor plants. If you have a small balcony, you can also make a pretty garden there because soon you are going to open the door to balcony more often. Speaking of new home accessories, they will give your place a finer touch. You can buy new candles, pretty objects, prints, or something more practical things such as books, trays, and bowls. Investing money in a few high quality items rather than lots of low quality ones will be a smart choice. One of the good ways to find better quality products is to discover independent brands and designers. You will get unique designs and good quality products as well as connect with real people which will bring you joy in life. One of my organizing tips is to utilize baskets and containers. Everything doesn't need to be super duper organized. If we have some items that cannot be sorted perfectly, then we can use some baskets and containers for those items. In the box, they can be a little messy, but it's totally fine and it doesn't make the room messy anyway. Give yourself some room to breathe and reduce the pressure of perfectionism. Deep cleaning is the key to renew your home, but daily quick cleaning is the key to maintain your place with that refreshed atmosphere longer. Once you get an idea of the best condition of the room, remember it and try to remake it every evening. If you keep doing this, I promise you it takes only 10 to 15 minutes. These are my 10 tips to refresh your home with a mindful approach rather than with a bunch of new shopping items. Your home is growing with you as time goes by, so you can start taking care of your home thoughtfully and intentionally. I hope that these tips help you get some inspiration to make your home more beautiful. I'm going to make more videos about slow living and poetic lifestyle. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. See you soon. Bye.